dwarf targets are how the character makes fists and moves their eyes and mouth. So if you look in a character XML, you will see all the morph code for it. So fists are right here. They usually have four steps. You can do more or less. And the mouth, whenever it's opened, the mouth, whenever it makes the ah movement, or the O, or the W. And then winking is whenever they blink. And for the rabbits, this is how the eyes are labeled. Look back right. Look down right, look up right, look forward right, look back left, look down left, look up left, look forward left. And this is, I guess, just for the dialogue, the eye widget in the dialogue, so the eyes follow correctly. And you can set this up in Blender as well. Um, I did. Um, look left, look right, look up, look down. And that's basically every eye looking up or down or left or right. It's not um, for herbivores like rabbits, they have individual eye movement. This species tag, I think, kind of ties into the morph targets. So if, you, if I had a rabbit and I did look up, look right, look up, or look left and down, um, it wouldn't really work. It'll kind of glitch out your character in the game. So you have to have, if you're doing front-facing eyes, I think you have to have the wolf species tag. I don't know if you can have the dog. How I created these was just go into edit mode and then Select a point here and then this little thing down here, proportional editing. And this thing, uh, whatever's in this circle gets influenced. And so I kind of just use this. I'm using G to grab and then Z to move up or down. And I use this to deform the model. For the eyeball, that's to get it to move. Go into edit mode and look for the eye uh, UV islands and then just move these up or down or left or right. You can do it either moving the UV islands or moving the actual geometry of the eye. And then whenever I'm done, I just export it out as um, the correct name. I can mirror morphs, so I don't have to do the opposite side from scratch. We have our left done, and then we go down here, and you shape from mix, wink left to zero, and then it makes a new key, names it key eight, and then we have it, same exact one, and we can Rename this by double clicking and I just do death claw underscore wink right and then pump this to one and then do mirror shake key and then it'll mirror it on the right side. And so this saves you a bit of work. So you can just select this and export out. And whenever you're exporting, uh, uncheck right materials because you don't need them. And suction only. And you can do that for each individual eye. And right here I have what I used for the mouth. It's just a simple head bone and jaw bone. And it opens and closes like this. I have keyframes right here. This is whenever the mouth is closed. 
whenever the mouth is partially opened and then all the way opened. I use the partial open for, I'll show you, for the O movement for the mouth. So I did that and then I selected the object and exported it out and then loaded it back in and messed with the cheeks a little bit. And this is what it looks like whenever you enter weight paint mode. And this took me about 30 minutes to skin correctly. Set it to mouth open and select a model. And then do file, export, wavefront, and then you export. And then you just make sure that you have this tag in your character XML.